this is the one you need. Y'all, sometimes they are out of them, but today they are in full stock. Actually, I'm in a different Walmart. The one that's not closest to where I stay, but hey, they have it. So, here we are. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going to start by spritzing my hair. And I just have water and essential oils in that bottle. Just to dampen my hair up. Then we're gonna try to detangle it a little bit. I should have put it in sections, but I was in a rush. So yeah. Now you just comb through it, get the kinks out. You know, just detangle it as best as you can before it goes in its high puff. And then I'm going to go in with my Gorilla Snot. <laughs> now it's time to brush it into place. Kind of flatten it out. As much as possible. Yeah, my hair is super coarse, so this is pretty much my go to, my everyday, basically. I'm gonna apply the Gorilla Snot to the back and brush it upward. And I also added water. You laugh loud when my jokes fail. Joke say you proud of a whole fail. Or you got me in my fields on the low like it's wholesale. Then you hit me with the oh well. And usually I'm sipping patron, but since I've been on my own, I went to Browns like a motel. I hit your phone last week. I ain't never We're gonna use our everyday scrunchies. These are really good because they're already very, very, very stretchable and they're not too rough on your edges. Whereas the goodies, I feel as if they would be way too hard on your edges so that's why i use these and plus they're only 88 cents hey i have to replace them often but they're only 88 cents like i stated earlier and you wrap that scrunchy elastic hair wrap around your neck and pull it upwards as you just seen and now i'm just fluffing it out to my liking You can also go over your puff and define it, the curls, the coils, or however you want to go about it. Or if you do a twist out, it really just depends on your personal preference and your hair, honestly. And I like to use another elastic band to go around the top part like a little headband, just to add a little extra finishing touches to it. And I go in with my curls to spruce up my edges, I guess you can say. I feel like every time I do this hairstyle, it comes out differently. Sometimes it may be a little upward, maybe a little forward to the back. It just depends. Y'all go follow me on Instagram at the lovely Zamora. No, the lovely underscore Zamora. Two underscores at that. <laughs> then I'm going to wrap my hair up for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll be back. Boom, and I'm back, just like that. Voila! And that's how you obtain your everyday high puff with 4C hair. And you cute, boo. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in my next video.
Later, y'all. Yeah, you throw it back and it's overkill. overkill. You laugh loud when my jokes fail. Say you proud of a whole fail. 